Uh, welcome guys in our talent open studio in this video we uh, we are going to learn how to move your NoSQL data into your Azure SQL database so we are using five main steps number one is going to <coughs> create a Azure database connection which allow us to connect with our Azure database then we are going to make a connection to connect with our NoSQL database then we are going to show all the data which is coming from the MongoDB then we are going to load this data into our Azure SQL database table so we are going to use uh, the following talent components one is our T MongoDB input which is going to connect our no sql mongodb then pull all the requested documented data then we are going to show this data by using t log row component then we are going to use tdb output to connect our azure sql database and load this data into azure sql database table so we are going to Talent Open Studio. First of all, we need a connection to connect our MongoDB. So I have my MongoDB, and you can see I am going to use. So DBS. This is the command which is going to show all the database uh, which is available in my MongoDB. Then I am going to use my connection that is use DB. KOL that is my database then I am going to show all the collection in this database collections are similar to tables in database in SQL server so here I am going to use my country sales so in country sales what I need to do db country sales I'm just going to click it control C dot find one uh, I want to see only one record how is going to show you so guys we are going to load this data into our Azure SQL server database table like state name country name sales year total sales total tax and BG colors so first of all I am going to my talent open studio here I have already created a connection to connect with my MongoDB in my metadata here you can see yeah this is this is my connection which I am going to show you so guys you can see uh, I have already built a connection to connect my no SQL database then the other settings where which I'm going to use like a like edge uh, db type my mongo db then db version then local host then port then my database name db kol and i am going to check it it is connected successfully now i am going to finish it yes okay now i am going to use my component t mongodb mongodb input okay so i am going to double click on it and go to the mongodb property in the property there are basic setting in the basic setting i am going to choose property and in built in built in i am going to use repository okay from the repository i am going to choose my no sql connection okay connection now here you can see db version server name then 
the local host port number and database name in the mongodb now i need to I need to pull my data from the country cell so I have to pass it control C then okay now here you can see there are some schema that is built in and edit schema so in edit schema I need to set my schema so what I need to do here I just need to copy this columns uh, from my MongoDB and create a new schema like as control V and the state name is string type and the length should be 50 okay so same guys we need to add all the columns here from my MongoDB like as and the uh, length is 50 so guys we are going to add all the columns from my mongodb to create a schema in talent open studio as you can see we have added all the columns from my mongodb document now click on ok button now here uh, you can see there is a query type so we are going to pass our query type like as yeah so you can see we are using this query filter like as so we are just going to copy this control c and paste this condition in my query okay now we did all the necessary settings in my tmongodb input here you can see the mapping columns also and sort by if you want to add any column and sorted you want to sorted your data in any column you can add this column over here now we are going to use my tlog component tlog row component and i want to see the result i want to see the data which is coming from the mongodb so i'm just going to connect it with my tlog and go to the tlog and in the edit schema you can see all the columns are available here then i am going to choose my t table uh, basic mode is table for t log and going to run this stroke yeah now you can see this is the data which is coming from the mongodb and we are going to load this data into our sql database so we are going to use first of all we are going to create a database connection for to connect my azure so this is my azure uh, you can see uh, i have a database in my azure and there are some tables so we are going to connect my talent open studio to my azure so i am going to back my talent open studio and i have already created a connection you can see this is the connection which we are going to use and we named it azure sql server then next and these are the settings this is the login and then password then server and the name of the database is social media yeah now I am going to connect test this connection. Now you can see it is connected successfully. Then finish it. So guys, now we have Azure database connection. So we are going to call another component.
and here first of all when you are going to double click on it in the basic setting it will ask the database name so here you can see there are n number of database so uh, we are using microsoft sql server database in my azure so i am going to choose it and going to apply it okay now you can see all the basic setting is coming from microsoft sql server so for now i need to choose property type so we have already a azure connection in my metadata so i am going to choose repository in repository it will show all the connection so here my azure sql server connection now you can see all the settings all the things uh, which uh, which we have seen in connection also available in this window over here so first of all i am going to connect my t log to my t db output okay and now uh, here you can see table name so i am going to pass a table name db underscore talent sales i am going to say the name it as a sales okay now here it will ask now you can say action on tables so if this table is not available in the database there are many options where you are going to choose it like default then it will act as a default then drop and create because we are going to create this uh, table first time so we are going to choose create table okay now turn on identity insert if you want and there are you can see actions on data like insert single insert query update insert or update update or insert delete or insert if not exist so i am just going to choose insert okay now i am going to use schema so first of all built in schema i am going to use edit schema here you can see this is the schema which is coming from the t db output okay i am going to click on it okay button now everything is ready now i am going to uh, check die on error now my job is ready and i am going to run this job let's see now everything going going done so we are going to my azure and just refresh all the table in my social media database and expand expand my tables then you can see there is a table tb uh, talent sales so i am going to pull this data pull the data from this table select star from tb underscore talent sales this is the name of my table and just going to execute the query now i am going to show the result as you can see this is the data which is uh, store which is coming from my no sql mongodb collections and stored into azure database table so guys you can see it is very easy to pull the data from your no sql database collection and store this data into azure sql server database so please subscribe my youtube channel and for more videos